is a presentation of Fox Sports. Rockingham, North Carolina is the place to be today. The best drivers in the world competing side by side, wheel to wheel at incredible speeds as Fox Sports welcomes you to our second season of NASCAR. The crowd, the cars, the drivers, all gathering here at The Rock as we get set to drop the green flag and our crew is on the case, starting with Steve Burns. Chris, I've met fans from Connecticut and Indiana, but this is a crowd that is a decidedly Tar Heel flavor. Stock car racing was born in the Carolinas, wasn't it? 38 of the 43 teams in this race are headquartered 90 minutes from here. It's a home game for everybody. This old racetrack is rough as number one sandpaper. It tears at the tires, causing the drivers and crew chiefs to have to develop special strategy. That makes it really a lot more fun for race fans like me and you. For the second year in a row, title contender Tony Stewart has to dig his title dreams out of a huge hole after losing an engine at Daytona. He'll start that lofty climb back into the title hunt here at The Rock, a racetrack where he's never won, but a racetrack where he's never finished worse than 12. Why would Ward Burton wear the same underwear for four straight days? More importantly, why is he telling us? Well, he's still riding that Daytona high. Today, it is back to reality for the 500 winner as he makes his way into Rockingham. We have an interview with him coming up next on the one and only NASCAR on Fox. Today, Winston Cup Racing returns to Fox Sports. And throughout history, there have been many famous returns. General MacArthur returned to the Philippines. Batman returned. As did Jason. And Michael Myers, over and over again. Porky's and Police Academy had multiple returns. But in the history of classical comebacks, the return of Winston Cup Racing to Fox ranks among the all-time greats. They're back. Those TV racing people. 